Today we're going to show you how to install memory in a Dell E5540 laptop. Memory chip looks about like this. I'll see if I can focus this a little bit for you here. Has a notch in it right here. This notch is uh, going to line up with something inside the laptop. So we'll show you that. Okay, first thing you have to do is take the battery out, pull both of these clips, push the battery out the back, which is sometimes a little tricky, pull that out, and we'll just set that off to the side. Now there's six screws in the bottom of the laptop that you need to remove. There's one here, 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 and here. These are all the same size, and there's two in the middle. These are different sizes. I recommend that you keep track of which screw goes where. And I'll show you a little method that I use that works. So I will set these out here and approximately the pattern that I removed them. So I'll put that in there. Of course this means you can't disturb them after you put them in place. So once we've removed these, then we'll remove the other ones, which as you can tell are noticeably longer. And put those there. Okay, now we're ready to take the back off. This is a little bit difficult. You kind of have to grab the edge inside where the battery is, and you have to pull on this edge carefully, not too hard, or you'll just break it. Pull on it. And it'll pop up. Don't do everything at once on one side. Move to different, the other side and do the other corner. Lift it up. Then work your way across the laptop. If you feel it move over here, then go to the other side and lift it up. Back and forth. Try not to lift it all at once. If one side wants to come, pick it up. It'll come loose. Don't force it or you'll break the little tabs. And if you break one tab, not the end of the world. Now, memory chip, here's the slot that it goes in. Some laptops, when you get them, they will be set up this way. So it could be over here that you'll be putting your, your chip in. Not a problem, doesn't really matter. This way, either one will be fine, whichever one's available. So you'll notice the label's on one side, but you have to flip it over usually so that this line lines up with this here in the laptop. I believe you can see that on the camera. There's a little nub right here. That notch here has to go in there. And the chip goes in at an angle. So you put the chip in at an angle and you push it all the way in until the gold disappears on the front edge. You can see that. Once it's in there, then you push down with two fingers until it clicks and then that is fully seated it'll be a little bit spring loaded sometimes it'll be different than the other side different chips seat different ways once that's in there you're ready to put the lid back on now putting the lid back on you have to line the notches up at the bottom there's a whole row of them so you want to line those up and put the bottom in first that, that edge it's I guess technically the front the laptop and you rock it into place so that they all catch work from this end and go forward pushing it all back down and go back and forth until things pop into place now I usually recommend working the corner in you'll notice how it work the corner in hold this up work the corner in, and then push this over here down try to try to work it all in carefully so you're not breaking something Work the corner in, push the other side down, check for, make sure everything's seated, the front edge is seated, corners are seated, everything is pushed into place. Now, we'll take our screws and we'll put them back in. In the order that they were removed, 
not really, but at least in the same place. And we're ready to put the battery back in. And we're good to go. You are now ready to turn your computer back on. When you do, you'll get this screen. Simply press F1. If you get any other error after this, it is generally best to select Start Normally. That's it. You're ready to go.